Hi, my name is Chris Tuck, and I'm originally from Ohio, although right now I reside in New York City. I'm extremely adventurous with food, and I'll tell you how. I've been super blessed to have been able to travel around the U.S. and um, some other parts of the world. And the first thing I do whenever I get to a new place is immediately start talking to the locals. And from what they say, you know, try this restaurant. Like, you have to eat here. This is the local cuisine. And from there, I just, I just go wild. And I love it. And I, from that, I've been able to really experience different cultures through what they eat, which in my opinion is the only way to experience that. I live in Washington Heights in uptown New York City, more specifically a neighborhood called Sugar Hill, which is actually a very historical place with a lot of like Harlem um, jazz and like Harlem Renaissance, all this stuff happened in that neighborhood. And so I live within this nice historical block. Um, I definitely have a local bar that everybody knows my name. It's about a 10 minute walk from my house. I live at 156th Street in Broadway, which is on the west side, as I mentioned. And 10 minute walk down Broadway, there's a bar called The Wallace. And The Wallace has always been the place since I got to New York four years ago, where we all congregated. Another name for my neighborhood is Actorville, because we all seem to live there um, for pricing and whatnot. But we always go to The Wallace. Everybody goes to The Wallace. And it is a Cleveland-based bar, which is nice because that's actually this like a large town where I'm from, about 45 minutes out of Cleveland. And so it's a Cleveland sports bar. They have amazing grilled cheese. They do hot dogs like nobody other. They frost their mugs for their beer, which I don't know about you, but I love drinking a beer out of a frosty mug. <laughs> do I like to test new products? Not really, but I'll tell you this. Um, a young lady has recently wandered into my life and she has been the influencer with a bunch of new stuff that I actually kind of like. Um, household products specifically, I used to go bleach, I used to go all that stuff, and now she's into all of this natural cleaning, you know, natural living, um, natural eating. <laughs> and so from there, um, my lifestyle has changed a bit, my cleaning habits have changed a bit, I think it's pretty positive. <laughs> Sometimes I Instagram my own kitchen creations. I usually Instagram the creations of others, but I have been known to take a picture of a tortilla with cheese on it at three in the morning and send it to all my friends. <laughs> I have um, kind of the unique opportunity to have worked a lot with a really high-end Italian, Italian catering company called Aquilina. And I'm always sneaking into the kitchen watching the chefs prepare the plates because the style that they use is next to none. And for them, yes, the food is good, but the presentation is what is important. That's their whole thing. So yes, um, I love you know, getting style from them, looking to see what they do and learning from them. Do I have some tricks of my own? Absolutely. Will I tell you? Probably not. <laughs> do my plants keep dying? Yes. And I'll tell you why. Because we live in an apartment that has very little sunlight. Now, I know and you know that you can get specific plants that don't require a lot of sunlight, but my roommate doesn't seem to understand that, you know, specific detail. So she'll bring plants in day after day after day and wonder why within a week they're just dead. And I'm like, well, because you're sitting them in a window with no sunlight and that is a full sunlight plant. <laughs> Do we need an expert's opinion? Absolutely. Will she listen? Absolutely not. <laughs> Our current plant status is a couple of dead rosemary plants and a beautiful fake Christmas tree that we have right by the fireplace in our uptown abode. <laughs> Do I get excited about a kitchen challenge? Oh yeah. One of my roommates is a amateur slash would like to be professional baker. So it's always baking every day, every day, every day. Weston is always cooking something different. And it's usually between the hours of like midnight and like four o'clock in the morning because that's when he seems to be the most alive. So the kitchen challenge for me is trying to keep up with the amount of baked goods that I have to eat for him to keep producing more. Otherwise there's mountains of cookies and pies and cakes just everywhere and you know, nobody can even eat a bowl of cereal because of it. <laughs> Julia Child, who's Julia Child? <laughs> what foods are you passionate about cooking? 
I actually am super passionate about everything breakfast, specifically breakfast sandwiches. It all started in college because the days off you usually have in college are like Sunday and Saturday, you know, the weekend days. So we'd all wake up from whatever party we were doing the night before and I would cook everybody breakfast. So I'll give you a little recipe. This is what I do the best. So you toast a bagel, you get a nice bagel toasted, to lightly toasted. You start out, bang, you put on the strawberry jam, all right? A little layer of strawberry jam. Then at the same time, you're getting that bacon going extra crispy, extra crispy bacon, thick cut, if you can help it. I follow that, but you cook the eggs and the bacon grease next. But I follow the extra crispy bacon with a couple of over medium eggs. They still have a little bit of runny, but it's not like a volcano in your mouth kind of situation. From there, you can put on pickles, you can put on whatever you want, but the important thing is on the top is cream cheese. Now you put cream cheese on the top of that sandwich, and all of a sudden you have this like triple decker egg bacon cheese jam surprise that like that nobody knows what to do with, and it's just amazing. You either have to stick a knife in it to hold it together, or you just gotta, you know, go in. <laughs> What about your household needs attention? Well, I'll tell you, we have no storage space in my apartment whatsoever. I think that might be something that all New Yorkers can relate with, but specifically, my apartment has no storage space. We all moved in thinking like, what a beautiful place. Like, you know, the first thing you do is check the covers and the cabinets and the closets and we just did it. So we have this ugly, ugly, functional, but ugly kitchen rack sitting right in front of the two windows that bring in the little to no sunlight that I told you about earlier. So as much as I had to see my roommates like baking pans and industrial mixer, you know, illuminated during the day, I'd rather have that sunlight coming into my house and like warming the environment. So yes, that is what I would like to change about my apartment. What food or home related topics are, am I passionate about? I am passionate about creating a warm environment where people can come, you know, day, night, whatever, and feel comfortable. So I always like to have food around. I always like to have good drinks around. I want to have a home for everybody else and for myself. Thanks a ton.